Welcome. In this video I will be showing you, two, methods on how to create, a simple text countdown or timer for CapCut. There will be no use of CapCut stickers and no files to download. Instead I will be showing you how, you, can create your own in your own style. The timers I will be showing you are simple text countdowns, which look like this. Or this. This. And this. The first method is to use Microsoft Clipchamp. You can create a simple timer in about a minute and then import it into CapCut. The second method is to build one in CapCut itself. It does take a lot longer, but offers a lot more customization. I much prefer the second option, but I would be remiss if I didn't show you the Clipchamp way first. Clipchamp is a rather rudimentary video editor, but it does have a nice countdown timer which CapCut does not have. CapCut itself has some stickers that mimic a timer of sorts, but there is no way to customize them to suit your specific duration or formatting needs. Clipchamp is a free-to-download video editor from the Microsoft Store. So, let's load up Clipchamp and create a new project. From the left-hand side menu, choose the text option. And then scroll down until you see the timer. Drag and drop this into the video timeline. This will default to 5 seconds, but we will extend this up to 10 minutes. Move the layer so it is in the middle of the screen, and then increase the size. Next on the right hand menu, select the text option. For this timer, we do not need milliseconds, only minutes and seconds. To extend the duration of this timer, we simply need to drag the layer in the timeline outwards. Let's extend this up to the 10 minute mark. It will be easier if we zoom out on the timeline as we go. Now that we have extended this up to 10 minutes, let's just check this is counting down correctly from the beginning. Good. Let's now export this as a video which we can then import into CapCut. 1080p, because why not? Once this has exported, open the location of where this has saved to. I am just going to move this to a folder I have already set up for my video projects. We can now close Clipchamp and switch to CapCut. Let's close this project by going back to the main menu and then create a brand new project. Usually, for my gameplay videos, I like to add a recap to the beginning of a new episode. I also now add a timer to this recap to indicate to the viewer how long is left on the recap. For this demonstration, I have already created an intro video for a new episode, and I will be adding a timer to this. First, let's add this clip to our timeline. Next I will import the timer we created in Clipchamp, and I want this to appear underneath the previously text. Come on Tesco! Let's now import our timer to this project. And now drag this onto our timeline, but above the video that we already added. This is now a new layer of video, above the video of the game. As you can see, the black background is obscuring the view of the game. To fix this, first ensure that the timer layer is selected. Then from the top right hand menu, select the video tab. Next find the blend option listed here, and expand it open. From the new list box, select the brighten option. And now, as you can see, 
we can now see both video layers together. Now I want this timer to appear underneath the previously text. So I am just going to resize and move this video layer. The timer itself is longer than my intro, but we can easily cut this down to match. First, let's see how long this intro is, and then we can cut the timer to match. Move the timeline indicator to the end of the intro clip. As you can see here, the intro is 3 minutes and 13 seconds long. Select the timer video layer, and move along the timeline to find the 3 minutes and 13 second mark. For my intro, I don't want the timer to begin immediately, so I am going to cut it at the 3 minute 10 second mark instead. Ensure that the timeline indicator is at the right position in the timer layer. With this layer selected, add a breakpoint here to split the clip in two. Now we can select and delete the first part of this layer. And finally, move the remaining timer video clip to the beginning of the timeline. We can add, in a doubt, animations to this timer to make it blend easier with the existing video. The blend option will usually only work with white text, you can color the font in Clipchamp, but will appear faded. Here's an example. I created a blue counter in Clipchamp to demonstrate the effects. And when we try and blend this layer, this is what happens. Barely visible. You can get around this by using the chroma key function. First select the timer layer, then on the right hand side menu, select video. Then on the options just below, select remove BG. Then enable the third option, chroma key. When it's enabled, move your mouse to the black background on the video screen and click the black area. And it will be fully visible, providing that the video behind it is not the same or similar color as the text. Sentries, what do you see? Sometimes I find that only works some of the time, others it will not, but if it works for you, then it's all good. Here's one I created with the glow effect behind it. If we enable the chroma key, this is how it appears. It's not bad by any means, but I don't think it looks very nice if we reduce the size. Alternatively, you can retain some of the black background with these and turn it to your advantage. I've imported the blue counter and added it to the timeline. This may work the way it appears now, but I want to trim some of that border away. First ensure the timer layer is selected, then go to video on the right hand menu. Next select the mask option from the options below and I am going to use the rectangle option. In the video screen, drag the outlines to suit your preference. To make this a bit more visibly pleasing, let's round the corners on this black box. Good. Oh, there it is again. Did you hear that? Next I am going to add a bit of transparency to it. From the video tab, Go to the basic option below. Find and expand the blend option. And then use the opacity slider to reduce the visibility slightly. She's already mine, I keep telling you. Let's try this with the backlit timer also. Hey there. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla. The wide timer seems best with this though.
If like me, you use a custom font for your videos, like a brand font, you will not be able to use this in Clipchamp unless you purchased a premium version first. So you will only be able to use the standard ones that are included in Clipchamp. If you have installed a new font in Windows, you can use this in CapCut for free without needing the Pro version. Also the text effects in Clipchamp are almost non-existent. I much prefer the next method to build one in CapCut itself, as it offers a lot more customization options. The second method is much more difficult, but allows you to use custom fonts, text effects, and you do not need to blend layers. We will be building this using text captions, placed at second intervals on the timeline. From the top menu, select the text button. Drag this tile down into the timeline. We will be building this in two parts on the same project. First, we will build the seconds from 59 seconds to zero. And then we will add the minutes and then copy and duplicate to extend the timer up to 10 minutes. We need to reduce the duration of this text down to one second in length. If we zoom in on the timeline itself, until we can see the one second mark on the time bar, and then slide the text layer back to match the one second mark. Select this text on the timeline, then see the text editor that appears on the right hand side. As we are building the seconds part of the timer, enter a colon, then the number 59. We need to copy and duplicate this text layer 59 more times, until we reach zero. Select the number 59 text layer on the timeline. Copy this, and then move the time indicator line to the end of the text, and then paste it at the end. For this text box, change the number to 58. Repeat this process until you have reached a 00, zero text box. When you have finished, your 00, zero text box should match up to the 1 minute mark on the time bar. If we zoom out on the timeline, we should see 60 text boxes next to each other. Let's give this a play from the start, and we should see the seconds counting down. Now, let's change the font face for all these text boxes. Zoom out on the timeline until you see every text box. Select all boxes on the timeline. Then, on the right hand menu, find the font list box, and select your own font. If you have downloaded a custom font and installed it in Windows, it will appear on this list, and you can search for it in the search box. Add a bit of formatting to it if needed. I'm just adding a simple stroke outline to these. All of these text boxes are now using the new font. We are now going to add the next part of the timer, the minutes section. And we will position the minutes to the left of the seconds on the video display. Select any one of the second boxes on the timeline, and copy this. With the time indicator line placed at the start of the timeline, paste the text box, and it should appear above the seconds boxes. With this new box selected, change the text of this to 09. Then scroll down to find the secondary alignment options. And click on the Align Right button. On the video display, move the 09 minute to the left of the seconds. On the timeline, extend the 09 box to show for the full minute. Let's play this from the beginning to see how it looks. Now, let's make the text on these boxes bigger to fill the screen. Start by selecting all of the seconds boxes on the timeline. And then on the right hand menu, use a font size scroll bar to make these bigger. Don't try resizing them in the video screen itself, as it will not apply to the others selected. 
Next select the 09 text box on the timeline, and adjust the font size to match. Let's align this to the left also. Select all of the seconds boxes, and then on the right hand menu, change the exposition number to 800. Now we need to align these to the left. Select a 09 minute on the video display, and move closer to the seconds. Good. Now that's the hardest part over. We can now easily extend this up to 10 minutes. Select and copy everything on the timeline. And with the time position line positioned at the end, paste the copied text here at the end. Select the new 09 box you just pasted, and change this to 08. Now, go to the end of the timeline again, and paste the same cells at the end. Change the 09 text box to 07. And now repeat these steps until you reach 00. Depending on the font you used, one of the minutes may be a bit too far away from the seconds. Usually 01. Just select this 01 box, and move it slightly closer to the seconds, by adjusting the X position. Almost done. Let's just check this at certain points to make sure all appears okay. I am happy with this. I am just going to make a slight change. I want my timer to start at 10 minutes 0 seconds, rather than at 9 minutes 59 seconds. If you don't plan to use the entire timer, you can skip this part, and it's easier to do this part before you start at all. With this done, select everything on the timeline. Right-click on any of the selected boxes on the timeline, and select Create Compound Clip. All of these individual text boxes have now been grouped together into a video clip that can be edited and cut. If you need to go back and make changes, simply select this clip, right-click and select, Undo Compound Clip. Once you're happy with it, right-click the Compound Clip, and select, Save Preset. Please note this is only available in CapCut 4.0.0, or later. Now that we have saved this as a preset, it can now be viewed in the, Your Presets section, on the left-hand menu. From here it can be imported into any new project you create. Let's just right click this and rename it. Now let's go back to the main menu and start a new video project. As in the first method, let's import my recap video. Start by adding this to the timeline. Now from the top left hand menu, click on your presets. And then drag this new preset onto the timeline, but above the existing video layer. Because this was created in CapCut, and as a compound clip, 
the black background is actually transparent, and so the blend option does not need to be adjusted. And as you can see, it has retained the text outline. Just like we did in the first method, I want this timer to appear underneath the previously text. First, let's cut the duration of this timer down to match the recap video length. The recap video is 3 minutes 13 seconds long, but I will cut the timer down to start from 3 minutes 10 seconds instead. Now I can simply move and resize this into its proper position. Previously, on the Elder Scrolls, Oblivion. On, Renexus Plays. Looks good. And the formatting matches the previously text. To finish this off, just add some, in and out animations to it. In the Elder Scrolls, Oblivion. On, Renexus Plays. Tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. There are downsides to this method, however. It takes a lot longer to make, and is a bit fiddly to set up right. Once you import the preset into a new project, CapCut may lock up for about 10 seconds while it loads. However, once loaded, CapCut will run normally. The advantages of this method however are Once created as a preset, it can be imported into any new project you create, over and over again. You can also format the timer to suit your specific formatting needs. You can add text outlines, shadows, or use custom downloaded fonts, and these will all be retained when importing it to a new project. You can have the font in different colors other than white. I just choose white in this demonstration to match the text in the intro video. This is my preferred method as it works seamlessly with videos, and is fully customizable. You can make the timers much longer than 10 minutes if you need to, just follow the same steps. If you want this to count up instead, you do not need to go to the hassle of creating a new timer. At the preset or the imported ClipChamp clip and add it to your timeline. Right-click the timer on the timeline, and go to Edit. And then select the second option, Reverse. If you are reversing the one made in CapCut, it will take a few minutes to complete. This is due to the large number of text boxes it contains. Whereas the one made in Clipchamp will only take about one minute, as this is only a small video. And now this will count up, instead of count down. Lastly, if you want to edit something in this timer, say the color of the font. Start a new project, and add the preset to your timeline from the presets list. Right-click this and then select, Undo Compound Clip. Then you will see all of the text boxes we created. Let's select all of these and change the font color to blue. And now I can create a new preset with this variant. What do you see? That's the end of this guide. Thank you for watching.